Shane Callan here from Iron Fly Fishing. This morning, a um, little bit of a different plan of action this morning from what we usually do. So I'm going out to a small river, a small stream called the Cooley River, not too far away from, from my house. Now there has been no rain for a couple, couple of days, so it could be a little bit low. So my intention is to fish there for maybe an hour, an hour and 30 minutes, and then afterwards go around to a small pond that I'm a member of, Grange Trout Fishery, and take out the the lake gear and and give it give it a shot for an hour so we'll see how we get on the river might be a little bit too low so we might just stick with with the lake today but we'll we'll have a look and see see what's going to happen <laughs> So we're just out here at Grange. The, the river unfortunately was way too low. Um, I need a little bit more rain before I can fish it again. But I'm just gonna show you one of the places here. I'm just gonna flip the camera around. And you'll see here that there's like a picnic bench for feeding ducks and stuff like that. Um, but you'll see. I hope you can pick this up with the camera. You'll see that some of the trout stay inside the barrier. And uh, yeah, there's some, some big fish there, so hopefully there'll be a few more out in the lake itself. So that's that's the small lake that we're gonna be fishing today. So we're just down here at the at the lake now. Obviously, as you can see, it's quite a small pond, um, but it's quite close to home. Some really nice fish in it, mixture of rainbows and browns. Last couple of times I've been here, I haven't had any browns, whereas previous to that, usually you get more browns than rainbows. So we'll see how we get on today. Sun's just starting to sort of break onto the water surface, which should improve things because it's early in the year. But I will take you on, actually, just up here, just up here is where I was showing you a few moments ago. So the where the sort of uh, picnic area is and where they feed the ducks so i'll take you for a little bit of a walk around the lake let the sun come up a little bit more and then we'll get started afterwards <laughs> stands really well maintained only problem here is that they're a little bit high off the water but um, with a long net it's not a major issue you see there's a little bit of an island out there in the middle it's kind of birdhouses and stuff in it and the pan around see there's the bathroom there gravel path the whole way around This is sort of the widest part of the lake. A couple of the ducks down here just having a little bit of a sleep. I'll not disturb them. But yeah, nice little pond. Little sort of um, punt to go out and clear out some weed and stuff like that. But yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a nice place to come and fish, quite close to home. And it's a nice place to spend an hour or two on a Sunday morning. So what we're using today is the Marriott Tactical HX and with this I have the Ross Reels Ross Animus um, with a Snowby XS floating line and just a white floating line. This Tactical HX is the 10 foot 5 6 weight, absolutely ideal for a small lake like this and I mainly use it for, for dries and nymphs on, on the larger lakes but absolutely love this rod, beautiful action, beautiful to play fish and absolutely stunning piece of kit. So we'll give it a go today, see how we get on and um, hopefully we'll get a couple of fish. So you can see here that there's a little bit of wind blowing into my face but I want to try and cast up in, the, up in that direction up into the sort of warmer warmer water where the actual sun is hitting the water so we'll give it a go and see how we can get on. <laughs>
that was a take. Slight take, just saw the line going, but we'll give them another go. fish actually took the dropper which is just a black dial back with a little sort of orange hot spot in the tag so nice nice start in the net nice small small rainbow Wet the hands on the net. So that's in there, fully finned, beautiful little fish. We'll get him back in the water. Great start on the naturals on a dial back. That was a great start. Um, I think that was maybe the third cast. Fish took the dropper, a little dial back. Let's see if you can see the fly. So, little orange butt dial back, jungle cock cheeks, black body, black tail, black throat hackle. Yeah, really nice, good take. Small fish, pound and a half rainbow, but fully finned, immaculate condition. Um, ideal start. So we'll see if we can get a couple more, maybe a couple of bigger fish. Let's go. Oh, savage take. Again, on the dial back. That fish really, really hit it. The beauty about fishing nymphs, fishing naturals, they really, really hit the fly. Lovely fish. And in the net. It's such a good start. So just quietened up a little bit there, getting an odd little bit of interest, but after getting those couple of fish and hitting one or two more, it's kind of quietened up. So the water is a bit colored. I got very little action on the, the mini lure on the point. I had one take on when it was on the drop. So I'm after changing my point fly, um, I'm after going on to a bright orange, a fluorescent orange squirmy bead head. And what I'm going to do is I still have the dial back on the dropper. What I'm going to do is kind of a fast enough figure of eight back, get those squirmy legs to move and with that coloured water that might get some reaction. We'll see how we go. Straight away, first cast on the scrummy. Slightly better fish. Internet. 
So, see the squirmy there. Right, we're going to give this another go um, had a few fish I think I've had four fish in the net so far a couple more fish hit and pulled out of and that sort of stuff which is it's kind of common enough here because of the high platforms it's difficult to get a good hook, hook hold at times but um, any of the fish that I've hooked I've landed bar one so um, we'll see how we get on again I am going with the orange squirmy on the point and the black dial back on the dropper colored water should uh, should pick up the fish straight away um straight away first cast with it i got one so we'll see if we can get any more um okay let's give it a go This fish took the squirmy as well. Another rainbow. This fish has stayed deep compared to the other fish. Nice, fully finned fish, not too big, but very good condition. And in the net. Ooh. Wet the hands. It's a squirmy. There he is. Nice, fully finned, small fish. About pound three quarters, maybe two pound. We get him back in. And off he goes. Perfect. Oh, nice take. Move to the squirmy in this coloured water has really, really worked. First two fish of the day were on the black dial back on the dropper, but I just felt there was more fish to be had on something with a bit more movement on the point. Super conditioned fish here at the moment. Oh yeah. And the fishery, the fishery Springer Spaniel, always mad keen to see what's on the end of the line. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but Michael's dog is always down here. Should be ready. 
again, super, super conditioned fish. Absolute beauty, probably, probably the best conditioned fish we've had so far today. Maybe three pound. I'll see if I can show you. Again, fully thinned, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, I'm in shadow here, so it's difficult to, to really get the colors, but we'll get them back in. Beautiful fish. Hold them in the net, and off he goes. Really pays to have a long handle net here in this fishery, and um, because of the high banks, the high platforms, platforms are absolutely fantastic. Um, just wooden platforms, but with this fake grass on top, keeps all the gear nice and clean, gravel path the whole way around, you couldn't get much better. Um, but yeah, really good fishing so far. Hopefully, hopefully when the sun comes up a little bit more, maybe, maybe you'll see the fish a little bit better. Um, but yeah, overall, great Sunday morning so far. The wind's just picking up and it's blowing right down, right down into my face, which makes turning over the flies a little bit more difficult, but not too difficult. <laughs> oh, nice. This fish took the dial back on the dropper. So I've had a few fish in a row on the on the orange squirmy on the point. First two fish of the day were back, so another one on the black dial back. Good combination, natural world and an attractor fly. Um, it's working today anyway. So and fishing the net. hooked right in the top of the lip wet the hands on the net because we're on such a high bank and we'll see if I can show you the fish very quickly fully finned beautiful absolutely beautiful and get him back in the water So I just had the camera turned off. I was just doing a little bit of fishing myself and um, concentrating on the fishing itself. And I caught a male fish, cockfish here, a rainbow trout. But he's, I think they're stunning fish. I've caught quite a number of them in this lake. Didn't catch any of them while, while the camera was recording, but um, have one here in the net. I just want to show them to you. Absolutely stunning fish. Really bright red down along the lateral line. These fish are big resident fish. They've been in this lake a number of years, so they're really sort of well grown on. Just get a grip of them if I can. That's him there. Absolutely stunning fish. Oh, hang on. Absolutely stunning. So, see the big kite there in the front? Oh, <laughs> he's fairly lively, so I think think we'll try and get him back in absolutely stunning those colors something else so he's ready to go back and off he goes that um that's absolutely brilliant stunning fish great fishing this is sunday morning i've been out maybe about 45 minutes and uh, yeah really really enjoyable and um, didn't get a chance to fish fish the river this morning really low but this is more than making up for it so uh, we give it another go and see if we can get any more so we've come around most of the lake and we've caught fish all around the lake and then the bottom end now and um, 
I just said come on and, and, and close the video out. So we've got just another fish in the net just after finishing up. We had in about two hours fishing, I've been here about two hours um, between recording and, and doing a bit of fishing. Um, I've had 16 fish in the net, which is which is a nice day's fishing. Really, really nice. All on a floating line, all on that Mario Tactical HX, like I said. Um, so yeah, great day's fishing. And just to wrap up, we'll show you just the last fish for after catching. Not not a huge fish, but nice nice condition fish. Let's see if we can show you. He's been in the net in the water just for a moment while I was getting everything set up but uh yeah beautiful quite silver this one absolutely stunning so we get him back in and off he goes super so guys um thank you very much for watching if, if you've watched the, the video um if you wouldn't mind we're, we're just a kind of new youtube channel iron fly fishing you'll find us on instagram as well so mainly mainly um river river and lake fishing do a little bit of saltwater fishing as well um all fly fishing though so if you're interested follow iron fly fishing on instagram so at iron fly fishing and if you enjoyed the video and it's it's something you might be interested in in the future hit the subscribe button and we'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button as well so uh thanks very much for watching guys and we'll have more of these soon. Probably the next video will be from the River Fane, my local river here. And uh, yeah, we'll get, get a few wild trout on, on the kind of lighter stuff. Okay, see you guys.